up y'all so today I have a haul for y'all if you guys follow my channel and you watch my vids you know that when I haul things I like to use them because I feel like a lot of people do hauls and they're just like look at the stuff that I got but then they don't come back and be like I really like the stuff that I got you know what I'm saying so you guys seem to like when I use the stuff and then come back and haul it Normally, I will keep the packages for you guys and show you like what the boxes look like. I'm not gonna stick it back in the box because I think it's silly. I'm not trying to downgrade anybody that does that, but I don't. That's just how I roll. That is what I do. So this basically is just some stuff that I've gotten over the past couple of months. And I'll be honest with you guys, I already filmed this once and I completely forgot all of the stuff that I got at Mac. All of it, all of it. Um, and the video was like 24 minutes long. So I am, I had to pick through and like see through stuff. So basically what I'm going to show you is stuff that I have not used in videos yet that I've gotten, you know what I mean? So let's, we better get started or this one's going to be 25 minutes long too. So I will start with drugstore first. The first couple of things that I've gotten, um, and like I said, it's been, you know, whatever, whatevs. Uh, Maybelline mattes came out with, I think it was four new colors, and I got three of them. I got Clay Crush, uh, Blushing Pout, and Nude Nuance. I do have Nude Nuance on right now, but I will slap up some uh, cutaways of the colors that I got. And I freaking love these. If you guys remember um, when these first came out, I did... I bought like the whole freaking line because I loved them that much in their drugstore and they are amazing. Uh, I did like a swatch video like to music and stuff like that and I will link that down below if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, that's what's up with that. I freaking love those. Next thing I got were two of the NYX um, Avant Pop palettes. So I seen these at the store and I like had no intentions on getting them until I swatched them. They are freaking so pigmented. I mean, look at this green right here. Could you die? Could you die? Look at that. Look at that. I still have swatches on my hands from when I just fucking filmed this. Uh, so ignore that, please. But I got the one in Art Throb and then the one in Nouveau Chic. Nouveau Chic. Nouveau Chic, I guess. That's how you say it. Uh, this one's more of a neutrally one, and then as you can tell, this one's like super colorful. So I got this one because I'm like, girl, you need to use some color because I've been like in this neutral haze lately, and I need to put some color on my face. So got these. Oh, also I wanted to show you guys this stuff um, just in case you like want to see tutorials or anything like that with them. If you happen to see something where you're like, hey, I want to see a tutorial with that, then just let me know in the click down. You guys know how much I love talking to you in the comment box, the comment section, the comment box, whatever. Let's continue. So when I went on vacation, I went to Sephora, me and a friend of mine went to like a spa and had a little girls thing and we went to Sephora. I did not buy a lot, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's hard for me to buy stuff at Sephora, you know what I mean? Cause I work at Ulta and there's only a couple of brands that Sephora carries. This was like a really big Sephora, it wasn't a ghetto Sephora. If you don't know what a ghetto Sephora is, it is a penny Sephora, they don't have shit and the shit that they do have is usually sold out. So. I went to like an actual big Sephora that has like Bobbi Brown and Dior and stuff like that and I just didn't see anything that like called to me except for this. So if you guys watch my channel, you may have noticed that I really don't like to jump on what I like to call the YouTube train. I'll be honest, some stuff I do, I'm like, hey, yes, I need that. But most of the time, if I see like five videos where people are like, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, I normally don't just because I'm just like a bitch like that. Like I want to be that person that says, no, I don't want to buy that. And I don't know why. I don't know why I'm like that. Are any of you like that? Like, if somebody like really, really likes something, like I wanna be that person that doesn't like it. And I don't know why. I don't know why I'm like that. But the next thing I am about to show you, I seriously am like, I am so over hearing about this. And I am so over people showing this in videos that like I am done. Until I went to Sephora and swatched it and put it on my face. And it's what I have on my face right now. And it is this. Yeah, it's the one you think it is. 
This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I had absolutely no intentions to buy this. My friend texted me and was like, oh my God, are you gonna buy um, that Jaclyn Hill highlighter? Because she's not a big YouTube person, but she knows that I am. So I was like, no, I have no intentions of buying that. I'm not a big highlighter person. Like I've told you guys before, I'm not a big highlighter person because um, I do have like large pores and textured skin and you know, stuff that highlighter tends to accentuate all over the place. So I was like, nah, I'm not gonna buy that. And then we went to Sephora and I swatched it and I put it on my face and I was like, okay, I need to buy that. They were sold out and I had to order it online, but I got it and here it is. I know you guys are sick to freaking death of seeing this and seeing it swatched and hearing its name because I know I am, but it is really good. It is, I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. I thought, I have highlighters, like I have Stila Kitten, um, Mary Luminizer, and Soft and Gentle by MAC, and I was like, I don't need anything else. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with those. I'm not crazy ass highlighter person, but once I put it on my face, I was like, okay, all right, let me fucking order it. Plus the guy there was like a really good salesman. So anyways, uh, yeah, so I got that. I'm not going to go on and on about it because you guys are probably bleeding at the ears from hearing about it. So let's continue, shall we? We shall. So the next thing that I got there, I didn't get a lot there because like I said, I didn't really see anything that was like, oh, I need this, except for this too. Um, this is just one single Makeup Forever shadow in the color M846. Oh, I love this shadow. It's so pretty. I mean, look at it. Let me swatch it for you guys. Okay, just take a look at it in the pan. Now watch this one finger swipe okay one finger swipe y'all saw it now on my hand one finger swipe are you freaking kidding me and when i got home and i swatched it again i was like shit this is pretty much makeup geek mitten that's what it is but it's not i will put a cutaway up of um, this swatch next to Makeup Geek Bitten. So I feel like I am doing that because if you own Makeup Geek Bitten and you're looking at this video right now and you're like, I don't need that, I have Bitten and it looks exactly like it. Girl, it doesn't and yes you do because it's so good. It's what I have on my eyes right now. If you guys want um, a tutorial using this shadow, just let me know because I have used it for the past three days and I love it. It's so pretty and pigmented. I seriously need to get some more Makeup Forever shadows, but it's hard to drop that, man. They're so freaking expensive and it's like, why? Okay, next two palettes. I got, I've gotten a lot of palettes lately, you guys, and I'm just like kind of overwhelmed by it. Like, why am I buying all this shit? I can't even use it. Um, I got the Pro Matte and the Pro Metal palette from Lorac. I did film a voiceover tutorial using these. However, I don't know um, if I'm going to upload it yet because I think I lost the freaking uh, screenshot of it. I might try to take a freeze frame um, out of my video, but I hate doing that because I'm always like, you know, like you try to catch yourself smiling and then like one eye is all cocked and it's it just gets weird okay so the metal palette looks like this the colors are freaking insane i love this color quartz for my inner corner rose gold is gorgeous amber is gorgeous and gilded is gorgeous they're all so freaking pretty let me yeah can you see the sheen on those like hello i love this um and then i got the matte one and i'll be honest with you guys um I have these colors like in my collection obviously because they're just like browns uh, and there's nothing in here that I was like I need that except for this burgundy color right here however when I got home and I swatched it I was super disappointed because let me get a good swatch okay so do you see that where is it it's right here do you see this on my hand, like how purpley it is? But when you look at it in the pan, it looks like a burgundy. Like it looks like it's gonna be this, but deeper. So I thought that that color was this, but deeper and it's not. I love this palette, don't get me wrong. Lorac shadows are some of my favorite formulation of, sh of shadows besides the fallout. I really love how pigmented and creamy and whatever they are. Um, 
but that shadow disappointed me and I feel like I have all these colors. I like it, but I was just a little disappointed by that color because I was super excited about it because I am that bitch that will buy a palette for one color. That's me. All right, now on to MAC. I only got a couple of things from MAC um, because I went in and was like, do you possibly have any of the Set and Fix Plus? Now we're sold out. Um, do you possibly have any of the La Disco shadows? Because I wanted to get uh, Boom Boom Room and I wanted to get the green one. And I can't remember what it's called. Um, and they were like, no. No, bitch. Are you serious? We have one color left. Are you kidding me? So I was like, well, are they possibly going to make it permanent? Because, I mean, they're really good and they're really popular and they've been, like, selling out like crazy. And she was like, no, no, they're not making that permanent. And I'm like, what the fuck, Mac? You would think that because they sold, you know, so many of them and they're so freaking popular and people are just, like, jumping on them that they would make them permanent because they are, like, Gorgina and I don't know I think it's stupid whatever anyways let's talk about stuff that I did actually get so I got another pro long wear nourishing waterproof foundation because I told you guys my demo review that I love it and I wanted to get a color that I did not have to mix I got NC35 I totally thought I got NC30 but I got NC35 like I think I need to calm down with the tanner when I was there and like swatching it on my hand the girl was like okay this is NC30 this or she said this is 25 this is 30 this is 35 and I looked at 35 and I was like it still looks light and she was like bitch it oxidizes calm down she was a black girl and she was like I am in the NC45 so I think you'll be okay with 35 like you need to bring it down and she was right it did oxidize so I this is like the perfect match it's what I have on right now um, I know it looks really like washed out with the lights and stuff but it does like really match really well so I love this and now I don't have to mix it anymore so I'm too it's excited I think I want to give my NW25 to my mom or something because I feel like that would match her skin a little bit better um, anyways the next thing I got was a new 217 I don't know if I ever told you guys or if I've ever mentioned in a haul or if you guys have noticed, every time I go to MAC, I buy a new 217. Every time. Like, I don't know what it is about being there and, like, seeing that fresh brush on their little, like, brush stand thing and then filling it and feeling like, damn, mine don't feel like that. So, I got a new 217. I have, like, five or six of them now, but it's my favorite brush of life and it's my boo it's my bae it's my brush i feel like i do a whole look with just a 217 i freaking love that brush okay anyways the last couple of things i got were all pigments they have like a little i've never seen this before i don't know if you guys have but they have like a little grab and go now that where everything's ten dollars they got little baby fix pluses and they got all kinds of stuff and they have pigments and i'm like i hate buying mac pigments because first off they're 23 dollars which it's okay for the price, you know what I mean, for what you're getting, but I will never in a lifetime use that whole pigment. So I feel like I don't like spending $23 on them because I know I'm never gonna use them. I will never use that shit, I won't. So I got all the colors that they had. These were the only ones they had. So I got Rose and this one's freaking gorgeous. Oh my God, I love it so much. I got the Vanilla Pigment. I've been using this as a highlighter and an inner corner highlight because I've seen Nikki Tutorials do it and I thought I could do it too. Um, and then the last one I got was Melon. So I probably will be doing um, tutorials with those in the future, if you please. So I believe that that is it. If I include anything else that I got, which you guys have seen in videos like the Bare Minerals Palette, Stila Palette, Lorac Pro Contour Palette. Um, yeah, you guys have seen most of the stuff in videos, so I had to leave it out so this wasn't a half an hour long. Okay, so before I go, because I know somebody's going to ask, my necklace looks like this. Is this not life? Is this not me? I, when I went to Columbus with my friend, her friend's daughter has a store in Columbus, and it's called Be Social, and she had the cutest stuff, and she does not have a website. I know. Like, what? What? 
but I do think that she has an Instagram. So if you, I know a lot of you guys that watch me live in Ohio. So if you live in Ohio and you are anywhere near the Gahanna area, she, her store is called Be Social and it is the cutest she has the cute stuff. She has like more like club wear, you know what I mean? That's why I didn't buy any clothes, let's be real. I ain't going to the club. But her jewelry and her sunglasses and stuff like that are really, really cute. She has like Kinseyetta dresses and pageant dresses and prom dresses and just like all kinds of cute stuff. So I got this there, it was only 26 bucks for this big ass thing. I thought that was like super hella cheap. So let me, I do think she has an Instagram. Um, her little logo thing looks like this. So if you can find her on Instagram, uh, check her store out. If I can find her on Instagram, I will link her below. But anyways, I believe that that is it for this haul. So if you guys like hauls or you like this type of haul where I use the stuff and show it to you, then definitely give me a thumbs up so I know to keep on doing it like this. And I believe that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you have not to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, if you please. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.